What's up, guys? We did it again. We waited way too late in the evening to make a video, uh, so it probably won't be any help to you, but uh, I couldn't help it after all those losses in Cataclysmic Dragon Rush. I wanted to put the screws to these Radar 4s. So in this dungeon, Kelbel is player A. She brings an Unawoken Machine Goemon, as well as a top and bottom row change. Uh, I'm bringing all unbindable subs. I've got Awoken Machine Goemon, uh, Mega Awoken Roden for the pixel, with a left and right column change, Unawoken Machine going on, and then this doesn't have to be Azathoth, just an unbindable sub that has one skill boost, one skill bind resist, and a cooldown of no more than 10 turns. And obviously inherited on uh, that sub is going to be a top and bottom row change. So um, with, with that, it's a pretty straightforward dungeon. We will get right into it. On the first floor, there uh, is a couple of animations. It likes to make a bunch of hazards. If the hazards get resisted, that's great. If they don't, it's no big deal because uh, Unawoken Machine Goemon can uh, unlock the board, change it to all fires, top and bottom row change, and then a seven combo. That's one floor down. It's going to be um, a little different this time than, than our last video, but uh, you see player A takes a huge cooldown, and that's really the reason uh, why player B has two of the board changes. So um, now I'm going to use Machine going on, followed by a left and right column change, and then try and remember this funky board. Uh, I made it look easy. It probably didn't take me more than one try, though. So now on the uh, the third floor, obviously Kelbel lost all of her skills to floor two's preempt. So um, after none of my subs get bound, uh, she will pass back to me. And I will promptly use Machine Going On, followed by a top and bottom row change. Make that oh so familiar seven combo with a pixel. And then I'm super happy that I have another Omnel. I'm gonna try and farm up a max skilled one before this hourly dungeon ends. So I hope this helps you uh, or at at least convinces you why it's so valuable to purchase an Amen from the Monster Point shop. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.